2019. My God showed up and showed out this year and was not in a small way. This year has really been a year of abundance um, and of plenty. Like, it is mind blowing to me. Uh, we've known hardship and really not had a great time in the past, about two years ago, actually. Um, things were really terrible for us. If you had told us that we were this close to our dream, I would have laughed or cried. I don't know. It, it was unfathomable that we would be here now. January 2019, we moved from our one bedroom, uh, like 500 square foot apartment, and there's three of us living in it at the time. Uh, my husband, myself, and our, at the time, like six month old baby. We moved from there into a different apartment in the same complex. Uh, it was a two story, townhouse like twice the square footage so it was like a huge deal for us so yeah that's how our year started little did we know that that was not going to be anything close to what like the biggest part of our year or the most exciting part of our year was going to be in february we decided we wanted to raise meat rabbits on our balcony and that's when we also started this channel we wanted to Record our progress. This is my introduction video, I guess. By March, we found out we uh, qualified for a USDA home loan. We are officially hunting for home. Um, and that's also when Jerry and I celebrated our second uh, wedding anniversary. Once we qualified for a home loan, we had a really, really short house hunt. Um, the third house we looked at ended up being, well, this one. We just signed a sale agreement on this place. The house hunt itself was really short, but after we signed all the papers, we were stuck in legal limbo for several months. Come July, we still had not signed on the house. Like everything, we hadn't closed. So the former owner was kind enough to let us sign a pre-occupancy agreement and we got to move in before we legally owned the house. It was a little premature, I'll admit, but we did buy um, some chickens and we built a chicken coop. Um, and this is of course why we still didn't legally own the house yet. Then came August and we finally signed the many, many dotted lines uh, and became homeowners. And then that next weekend, I went and picked up our La Mancha does. I'm just walking around, girls. You're silly. And very pregnant. They're my favorite goats. I'm, like, ridiculously blessed with these animals. We welcomed Ephraim, our buck, to the farm. Hey, big guy. With October came some cool weather, finally. Uh, a close call with a cotton mouth. Our layer flock grew. We got meat rabbits again. November brought even better weather um, and even more rabbits. <laughs> we started building the rabbit barn. This month, um, December, we brought home our first meat pigs, which was really a sudden decision. <laughs> but so far it's worked out really well. We also found out that our last remaining rabbit buck was sterile. So he went to freezer camp and we brought home two new boys. I'm telling you guys all of this uh, not to show you what I've done or how we turned it around. I'm telling you all of this so that you can see that Yahweh did it all. Yeah, I have no words for this year. Like, the things that have happened and the way that have happened, when they happened, God just completely had his hand on every little aspect. It's amazing. I don't have other words, like I, God is good, like that's, that's all I got for you. For the coming year and always, I pray Yahweh Yaira's blessing over you. May your heart and mind just be dumbfounded with his love. May he make you an example of his grace and his power and his goodness. 
Glory be to him. Until we meet again, bye y'all.